I saw this megaphone in the store and the first thing my son and Honey Bunny said to me was, what in the world are you going to do with that? Why do you even have that in your hand? Why do you need that? Well, the fact is I don't need it, but I wanted it because I'm the person that would get the party started. And this would so be me at the reception with this thing in my hand going, hey, hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna trick this thing out and I'm gonna make them all look stupid. You wanna see how I'm gonna do it? Stay tuned, it's coming up right now. care what they say when this thing is tricked out they're gonna be applauding me and saying hey that's nice they might not let me get away with it at the reception but I'm gonna try anyway so I've got some spray paint that I got from Walmart my favorite metallic silver and I'm just spraying that out I gotta say I did a really nice tape job if I do say so myself but I wanted to make sure that I got a really nice coat on there because when I bling this thing up I don't want you to see any of that blue and you know I keep this rhinestone trim by the pound. Actually, I keep a 30 foot roll. And so just to talk about some of the supplies, I'm gonna use this rhinestone wrap. And I have some little mirror tiles that you see. I actually ordered those by mistake. They are bigger than the ones I normally use. So I thought this would be the perfect project to use that for in blinging this thing out. And here I just ran some of that E6000 along the base and I'm just gonna lay that trim and kind of turn it to make sure that those crystals are facing me so that when I am holding that bullhorn, you can actually see the crystals. And then I'm gonna take those mirror tiles and just kind of run them along the side. Now these are actually easier to work with than it may look. You don't wanna peel off all of the paper. You just wanna peel it off section by section so that these things don't bend and stick together because they do have a nasty little habit of doing that. You don't need any glue to adhere these. These actually can go on a wall and they last forever. All you're gonna do is peel and stick onto the megaphone like you see me doing here. And you just wanna be careful because remember this is glass, all right? These are little mirrors and you don't wanna scrape and cut yourself. I have done that on these things several times. So I'm just laying that out, trying to get it flat. Of course, when you're going on a round surface, it's not as easy. And these are a little bit bigger than the ones I normally work with. So you just want to push and make sure that it's adhered. And then I decided to add some of my famous studded bling wrap, which you can also get at Hobby Lobby. I got mine from the flea market though, but Hobby Lobby does have a smaller roll of this. And I'm just going to continue with that E6000, really honestly, because I ran out of my hot glue. So I'm going to continue with that E6000 and just lay this. And I'm just going in a pattern here. I'm laying that E6000. I'm not using it on the mirrors, but I am using it on the rhinestone trim and the uh, bling, as you see here, just laying it section by section. Now to make this easier, you can actually cut it in strips. I chose to do it faster. The last thing I want to do is take my little hanging crystals that I've used for other projects and incorporate them where this strap is. I did put a little bit of that studded bling on the strap, as you can see, and I'm just going to hang these crystals next to it just to give it a little bit more effect and make it blend in with all the other decorations. And here, of course, is my favorite part the final look. I'm really loving how this came out all blinged up and cute. Now, whether or not they're going to actually let me use this at the reception, I don't know, but they don't know. I'm the life of the party, so they ain't seen that part of me yet. I'm going to be out there. I'm telling you, when my song comes on with that bullhorn, I won't be running the siren, but I guarantee you that my voice will be heard on that day. Why? Because it's all about the cheer, right? It's all about the party. Okay, I know I'm a bit much. You know I'm over the top, but if you have a cheerleader in your life or that diva coach, 
This might actually be a really great Christmas gift. I got this thing at Marshall's. Did I say that? And probably only spent like $5 for it and totally tricked this thing out. I don't care what they say. I'm about to have fun with this thing. This is me being silly, y'all. But I still wanted you to show you the work that I did. Remember the work of your hands are blessed and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, even if it's blinging out a silly little megaphone to be the life of the party. Until next project, you all be blessed. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Love y'all. Happy holidays.